Welcome back. An award-winning, accessibility-focused documentary has officially been publicly released. 257 Down shares the story of a man who became a quadriplegic when his dirt bike landed on his head and broke his neck. Alex Abbott's friends and family help him realize his dream of once again riding on two wheels. And I had the chance to talk to him about his plans of raising awareness around accessibility. This was the worst thing I could have ever imagined. I would have rather been dead than not be able to ride my motorcycle. I just turned 23 in 2010, and that was when I decided it was time to learn how to backflip. I was practicing in a foam pit, but uh, the bike just landed on me the wrong way, and I ended up just taking the bike right to the face, and, and that's why I broke my neck. There must have been some pretty low points for you in those early days. It was like this depression and anxiety attack and a panic attack. All these things I'd never felt in my life before just hit me at once and it all just stemmed because I was literally just in the bed and all I wanted to do was turn over and I couldn't even do that for myself. In the back of my mind I was always thinking yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get on a bike again somehow but also in the back of your mind you're also realizing it might not be a very achievable goal. Tell me a little bit about the documentary and why it was important for you to make it. The 10 year anniversary was coming up of my the day I got injured. My friend David, I just asked him, he's got a background in filmmaking things. I said, would you mind just shooting a bit? Just, and I just intended it to be for friends and families. And uh, so he did. And then I guess he went home and said, I think I've got something here. I've got osteoporosis and stuff like that. So a fall would not be very good for me, especially since my bike wasn't modified in any way. What I was really most nervous about was this is one of those things that I had used to keep me going. Like one day I'm going to get on the bike again, one day I'm going to ride again. And now it was, I was face to face with it. And I was like, if I fail, you know, what do I have to look forward to? Alex? Alex, don't do it if you I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, that's right. No that, pressure, bro. Really up to you. This is baby steps, man. That was... like... And I remember thinking like, oh my God, you're, you're riding your dirt bike again. It's funny, you know, you'd think you'd be super emotional and all these feelings rushing back, and sure they did, but it was like in an instant. But then it was just like straight back to focus, and it almost just felt so natural as well. Ended up submitting it in festivals. So now that it's, it's actually released to the public, we decided to put it up and also try to raise a bit of money for the Veterans Center. Another passion of mine. Things that really helped me when I was in hard times was seeing what people went through during the wars. I volunteered at the Veterans Center at Sunnybrook for three years. Great times, I miss all those guys dearly. And uh, so I just want to give back a bit to them as well. Tell me about what you're trying to pitch now and why it's important for you to have more images of people with disabilities in the mainstream media. I always wanted to do a travel show based around traveling with a disability because it's tough. It's so much extra planning. There's so much more worries and anxiety about it. You know, maybe it'd be interesting to them to see that. Uh, I've got to pack catheters because this isn't the kind of thing you can just pick up at a store should you run out of them and you kind of need to pee. I also wanted to see, you know, battlefields, places like that that I was interested in. And again, going back to the fact that a lot of these innovations that we, people with disabilities, rely on came from the conflict. We are calling it the Battle Beyond. So it talks about the battlefields, but then what they faced when they came back after everything from, you know, quadriplegia, paraplegia, uh, blindness, uh, PTSD. So if it could just open up more people's eyes to just even the littlest changes that can be made, that would be the best thing we could take away from it. What would you say to maybe someone who is young and, and facing a big challenge that they have to overcome now that you're, you know, almost on the other side of it. You, you've got it in you to, to go a little harder, dig a little deeper. You've got that extra gear that's in there somewhere and, and you can just shift into it and you're going to push through, you're going to keep pushing and learn to be patient and things just will come up. And, you know, I traveled a bit and every time I traveled, I got more confident and felt better about it. Now, potentially, I can combine all those things uh, as well as advocate. For, for a better change. And access for someone like me, it's still gonna benefit anyone, even yourself. Like, you don't have to be in a wheelchair to benefit from accessibility.